Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new Engines of North America video. Today, we will be talking about the big diesel, the Baldwin Centipede. In the final days of the Second World War, the railroads were ready to dieselize their premier passenger trains in order to have faster schedules. The main issue was the heavy wear and tear on their rights away. The extensive wear and tear led to rough riding even with locomotives with six axles. To combat this issue, the Pennsylvania Railroad began the Claymont tests in Delaware. The future centipede will be tested on rails that the GG1 had proved itself on years prior. The seaboard airline became interested in the tests at Claymont, Delaware. They even considered buying the centipedes as electrics. Due to their lack of proper funding, the railroad's management would decide to focus on a diesel-electric variant instead of a strict electric engine. The top brass of the seaboard airline was on a tour of Baldwin's Eddystone plant where they discovered a test bed unit, a 2DD2 demonstrator number 6000. The project entered development a year before the United States entered the Second World War, but it wouldn't be given the go-ahead for completion until 1942 by the War Production Board. Upon completion of the prototype, it would comprise eight 750 horsepower De La Verne engines this would equate to a total of 6,000 horsepower. Said prototype, however, was a bit overpowered and would only be sold to a small handful of railroads. As such, a change was needed. While the design largely remained the same, the horsepower output would be cut down to 3,000. Upon its completion on December 13, 1945, 4,500 would pull passenger trains between St. Petersburg and Jacksonville, Florida. The centipedes would be built from October 1945 to July 1948. The official name of the centipede was DR-12-8-3000. The DR stood for Diesel Road. The 12 was to designate the 12 axles the engine rode on. The 8 denoted 8 power traction motors. And the 3000 meant the units had 3000 total horsepower. Later on, Baldwin had lowered the horsepower of the centipede to 2000. Each unit had a top speed of 100 miles per hour, a starting tractive effort of 205,000 pounds, and a continuous tractive effort of 105,600 pounds. It weighed in at 595,000 pounds, measured in at 91 feet 6 inches, and ran on a unique 2DD2 wheel arrangement. In terms of the horn, the centipede would have different horns on different areas of the engine, depending on the railroad they operated. They came built with horns such as a Wabco E2, and some would have a Nathan M3 later in their service life. A total of three North American railroads ran the centipede. They include the following. The National Railways of Mexico, the Pennsylvania Railroad, and the Seaboard Airline. Out of the three railroads, the one with the most centipedes was the Pennsylvania Railroad, which had a total of 12 semi-permanently coupled units, or 24 individual units. The Seaboard Airline came in second and had a total of 14 on their roster. And the National Railways of Mexico came in third and had a total of 8 on their roster. The Union Pacific did order two centipedes, but they later canceled their order. In terms of their intended service, they were satisfactory, and contrary to a rumor spread by rail fans, the centipede did have multiple unit capabilities. The engine was designed to be on the head end of the train, however, the Pennsylvania Railroad used them as helpers. This decision would result in the locomotive's jackknifing due to the exertion of too much power and torque. The Pennsylvania Railroad complained about the difficulty of replacing the brake shoes, which had some validity since they did not have the right facilities for the unique diesel. Perhaps, had it been given more time, Baldwin may have been able to correct any issues so that it could operate better in freight service. Despite these shortfalls, plenty of railroads were interested in the engine. The Denver and Rio Grande, for instance, collaborated with Baldwin to see if the engine could run on both electricity or diesel power. Despite their size and tractive effort, it would only last until the late 60s. The National Railways of Mexico would be the last railroads to retire the centipede. Unfortunately, all Baldwin centipedes would be scrapped, a rather unfortunate end to such a unique diesel engine. At the very least, 
we have photographs and scale models of this unique diesel locomotive.